Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Being a solid man works with women. What is a solid man? A solid man, another term could be, uh, especially in uh, certain East Coast cities, a thorough man. A thorough man, and that's what I learned as a young man coming up. A thorough man is just that man who can hit on all cylinders. You know, he's that man, yeah, he could talk to the ladies, but he could also throw those fists. He can go make that money. He was even good in school. He's just hitting on many cylinders. And the thing with women, it really comes down, the whole issue, the whole relationship issue come down to one thing with them. Well, one dynamic, one basic dynamic. On one hand, they want that man who either looks good or is sexy, if he's both, and yes, there's a difference. If he's both, that's even better. If he's both, you know, he's both good looking and sexy, or if he's just sexy, or if he's just good looking, whatever the case, women want that guy. He's the, in my book, Nice Guys and Players, that's the player. But what did I also say? They also want that nice guy, that good guy. They want that guy who has some money. And yes, women, hey, look, when I say money, understand, let me be very clear what I say, because I've said several times you can get sex without money. But notice I said sex, because I'll get into why I'm very particular about that. But uh, the thing is, it's not about tricking. It's about having some basics. You know, there's a lot of women, they'll say, yeah, they can meet some good looking guys, but they don't have any, they don't have anything going on for them. They don't have their own car, you know? They don't have their own place to stay. They staying up with a relative or something. That whole hobosexual thing. They don't have much going on for themselves. You know, it's not even about, cause the women, they, they, ain't, they ain't looking for the man's money. They just looking for a man who can take care of himself. Shoot, that's what I talk about on my Sovereign Saturdays videos. All right. See, and that's where the whole issue comes. It's hard to find both. It's hard to find both. Now, when I talk about um, that whole, like, you don't need money to get women, plenty of them will get, plenty of them run into that hobosexual. That guy who don't have much going on. But he fine, though. But here's the problem. They want that guy who got his stuff together. Indeed, if you talk to women, you talk to any group of women, they'll say, yeah, they'll run into some guys who got their, you know, got their stuff together, got their own place, got their own car, got a nice job or business, something, they're making money. They just don't turn the women on. See, the solid man is that man who has both. So he's gonna be that man who can at least turn on a woman, at minimum turn her on section. Those are said at minimum. He might not be like looking like a fashion model or something. And shoot, most guys aren't. But he can still, he has all of that. He has that at a minimum. And he will at least look decent. He will at least look decent. You know, she can go out and walk, she can walk outside with an old hand. So he at least fix himself up to the best extent. But he also got his own stuff. He, he's, he got his own job. He don't need anything from her. You know, he's not a hobo sexual. See, a solid man, he's just all the way around. He got it. So he can take him in, he can take him out. He look, let me break it down. He can be a freak in the sheets, but a gentleman in the streets. And that's a key thing. That man who can hit on many cylinders. Now, if he's good looking too, oh shoot, women, shoot, they having a wet dream. A good looking money, a good looking man with money and sexy. And he got something going on. He got his own place. Oh, shoot. If you look at like a lot of the like romantic novels and stuff, that day, that's up there. That's like a woman's dream right there. So, and realistically, no, most guys ain't going to look like fashion model, supermodel of the world, something like that. Or uh, alpha showpiece. You know, super muscular. All guys ain't going to like be that perfect height. 
with a man, but if a man is as solid as possible, okay, so he might not be 6'2", but if he's 5'9", and he keep himself in shape, and you know, he at least keep his looks up as best as possible, keep his style, dress well, you know, and come across to the woman as sexy, but then he can drive his own car. He don't need hers. He got his own thing going as far as making his money. He don't have to live on her as well. Shoot. The woman losing her mind. And that's one of the things I promote. If you look at my book, Nice Guys and Plays, now I use the term real man. And that, you know, a lot of guys have issues with it. And I got, because uh, they'll say they real, but they far from it. Because um, I use the term also in my book, uh, Sexual Chemistry. And I talk about specifically that man who's developed his will. But let's just be real. Let's just say, let me give you something that any man could work towards, any man. Just developing yourself all the way around. You know, you still want to make that money. Not to trick, though. You want your own thing. Because that's all many women want in a the guy. They, don't, they got their own money. They don't need your money like that. But they want. They don't. See, okay, let me put it like this. This is the best way to put it. A woman don't want to feel like she's sponsoring you. Now, yeah, of course, there's plenty of stories of women doing so. But trust me, if they had their druthers... They wouldn't. And the only reason they do so is that man bringing a sex appeal. But if you that man, she don't have to sponsor you because you got your own money. You got your own place. You don't have to be up in her place. Hell, you might not even need to see where she live. You don't need to drive her car. Yours is better anyway. Okay, you got all that check. But then when y'all get together, you can knock it out the box. Shoot, the woman losing her mind. And then if you keep yourself up enough, she can say, you know what? I can also drop a baby with him. She'd be like, girl, she'd be calling her girlfriends up, girl. I found him. I found him, girl. Shoot. And that just works. That just works. Now, I ain't, you know, a lot of guys got an issue with the word game and stuff. Okay. They just do that. Just be the best. Because trust me, women are looking at all of that. They are checking all of that. The more you check those things, because it come down to uh, with this, uh, this sister who used to post on here, haven't seen her in a while, in Chi-Town. Um, she, and I even did a video on it. Sex appeal and nest appeal. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that, uh, I'm gonna put that in, hold on. I'll find that video and put it in the, the description box. But she said that. So they want that guy who turns them on, but it can also build that nest. That's just a woman's nature. And see, even about the reason, see, understand, let me be abundantly clear about that. It's not about tricking or buying her stuff. If a man simply has it, if he just simply has it, a lot of women are good with that. They don't want his money. They got their own money. They just want to make sure their money isn't sponsoring. And yes, of course, you got some women who will do just that, but they really don't want to. And even then, that guy's just a plaything. When women looking for a serious relationship, they looking for somebody they really want to deal with. And when they getting older, they, they become grown women. They want a solid man, solid man. The more you work to make yourself solid, the more options that you will have with women. All right. So that's all I have for right now. Do the work, do the work. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all. Peace and blessings.